Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers, Retro Rob here, and it's time for another PXN controller unboxing video. They keep sending them, I keep unboxing them. Today we're looking at the 9607X, and uh, it's a nondescript looking controller for the Nintendo Switch until you look inside, and look inside we will. But you know what? I'm not content with just giving you, like, one unboxing, two unboxings in one video. Which you didn't hear because I covered the mic. But still, two, two. That's the kind of quality. That's the kind of quantity you get here at Retro Rob Plays Everything. Yeah. I know you're excited. In a moment, you're going to know why there's two of these. Either that or you looked at the cover and have already figured it out. But anyway, let's start as we always do with... The front of the boxes. PXN 9607X wireless controller. And here's the back of the box. Not a lot to write home about. But don't worry, in a moment things are going to get exciting. Trust me. And here's the features. Wake up function. Wireless. Wired. It, of course, it has a battery. Turbo function, that's kind of interesting. And NFC, which is a nice feature to have when you have the Switch. Wouldn't you agree? Let's open it up. All right, are you ready? You ready for this? Are you ready? Look at that. Minty, minty controller. Because it's mint colored. Green's my favorite color, by the way. Oh, yeah. We'll look a little bit more in a second. Let's see what else we get in here. We got a uh, charging cable. Looks rather short, to be honest. Uh, generally speaking, uh, these are a bit longer. I'm having a hard time unwinding this. There we go. Here we go. No, no, I'm going. There. Yeah, it's fairly short. Like. I think it's like three feet. But there we go, charging cable. Open this up real quick. There's a quick start guide. Come on, focus. Put. There we go. There's a quick start guide. Note that you can play this uh, on your Windows machine as well. PXN thanks you card. Uh, yeah, very nice registration card. And here we go with the user manual. And very, very basic. And the first part's not in English. There we go. There's the English part. It's not the English part. Where's he? Mm. There we go. There is an English part though. Got to go in a bit. A bit about syncing and features and we'll check these out don't worry all right back to the controller it has a it has a soft rubberized feel to it feels really nice analog sticks feel good there's a little bit of ping on the triggers but the triggers feel pretty smooth let's see how these are yeah these are good Feels a lot like, uh, say, an Xbox controller or their uh, or their uh, Pro controller. These uh, buttons are a little bit clickier than the OEM. Yeah, these buttons feel nice. Yeah, it looks like it's got a power button on the back. There we go. Now let's take a look at the next one as well. Look at that. Purple. <laughs> and pink. Very nice. And that's what I was excited about. I mean, look at the look at the appearance of these things. Really neat looking. Let's see if they play as well as they look. Hey, I didn't cover the D-pad. It's got a concave D-pad. And it feels absolutely acceptable. Again, we'll see how these play on a couple of my favorite games. 
Before we get started, quick comparison between on the right we have the OEM controller and on the left we have the PXN controller. Uh, as you can see, the PXN controller is a little bit physically thicker uh, right up through here uh, where this is the original one. Kind of nice if you've got bigger hands. Also, the buttons are clickier. Hear that? So, to be honest, I, I think the OEM does feel a little bit better, but there's more positive click in these if that's the kind of thing you like. Otherwise, they feel very similar, even though the buttons here are shaped a little different. They're actually really, really quite similar. All right, let's pair this sucker. I've got it in pairing mode by pressing and holding this button right down here. Wait, right there, see it? Let me go down to controllers and sensors. Hit A. Change grip order. And now it's gonna seek. There we go. It's ready to go. That's it, that easy. If you wanna pair it with your PC, same thing. Press it for about three seconds on this little button right here and uh, get into your Bluetooth settings. All right, real quick, turbo settings. Hold down the T button and whatever button you wanna to map to turbo. And the first time it sets it to turbo. See how it's flashing now when I fire it? Now, if I want it to continually fire, I do it one more time. If I want to clear the turbo setting, third time. I can also set the vibration function by holding this and going up or down. Increase vibration, decrease. So that's pretty nice. Right here. I like it on max. There you go. Alrighty then. As you can see, the controller works just fine. The analog stick has just a little bit more throw, at least it feels like it to me, than the original Pro Controller. And I don't mind that. That's not a bad thing necessarily. It really just depends on your play style and what kind of game you're playing. Uh, but for the shooters that I like to play on here, it's really pretty decent. And then the buttons, again, I'm kind of surprised at how much they feel like the original Pro Controller buttons. I was expecting them to be quite a bit different as far as feel because they've got the button shape. They, I don't know how to explain it, but the button shape is really different between the two. So, yeah, it's, it's working really, really quite well. I'm having no complaints. Can you use the D-pad with this game? Yeah. And the D-pad works quite good. Good stuff. All right, I suppose what we should do is try out the tilt function. Because I know I'll be asked about it if I don't demonstrate it. So let's get going on that. Alrighty then, let's try some racing. And I'm just gonna tilt. No analog stick. One of the problems with trying to race like this is that I'm almost certainly going to throw the angle off of this controller resulting in trouble that I would never have in real life but I'm going to try and hold this up a little bit hopefully there we go it's working just fine and I will say that in normal racing when I'm not trying to hold this up my gameplay is just about the same as it is just using the analog stick. To be honest, I never consider doing it this way, but it works pretty good. As you can see, my arms are floating all over the place. So I'm messing things up already. Yeah, I'm already messing it up. But in general gameplay, you don't have this problem because you're not floating all over the place. Come on. Seventh position, 
There we go, into sixth. And uh, messing things up really bad, because that's the way I play. There we go. Oh! Yeah, I'm at the tilt. Yeah, tilting up has really messed me up here. I have made a mess of things. But yes, indeed, it does work. And it works pretty darn well. If you're not being a nugget, which is what I'm being. All right, let's go on. All right, here we are in Breath of the Wild. And time to test out NFC usage. Here's my knockoff NFC cards. Booyah! I got fish and goodies. Pretty good. If you don't know how to use this, by the way, you can check out my video on this topic. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to use the NFCs by now. I also did a video on these knockoff NFC cards. I'll put a link to that down below. I know people are always asking about those. Anyway, I believe this is the last of my testing on this. Pretty cool. Let's get a verdict. And that about wraps it up for the PXN. 9607X controllers. They work both on the Switch and on the PC. As far as the quality on them goes, they're very close to the original Switch Pro controller. They're not, they're not quite as heavy duty as that, but they're really, really pretty decent for half the price. Had no problems with controlling it, had no problems with the NFC, had no problems with the tilt. And that is pretty darn good for 30 bucks. So uh, I'm gonna give this a big fat thumbs up. Pretty cool. I wanna thank PXN for sending me these. Like the colors. By the way, they do come in, uh, they come in about seven different colors, including boring black if you want it. Uh, they've got a gray one. Wait, 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 uh, there's, there's all the colors. Anyway, I'll link to them down below. I wanna thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me, <laughs> Come on. Arr, there we go. There we go. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Ring that dingy bell thing. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.